Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinite Division platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your JMN examination. This question came on 1st September 2021 and this question came on second shift. So let us see this question first. Okay. Question says the temperature of an ideal gas in three dimension is 300 Kelvin. The corresponding de Broglie wavelength of an electron approximately at 300 Kelvin is. So you need to find out the de Broglie wavelength of electron. Okay, so electron uh, is within, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, you can uh, visualize it as if the electron is within some kind of container, big container. Okay, and whose uh, the temperature is 300 Kelvin. So obviously it will vibrate and it will produce its own wavelengths. We already know de Broglie wavelength associated with any particle is given by h by p where h is a Planck's constant and p is the momentum of that particle. So that means this can also be written as m into v. Okay, so this can also be written as in the terms of energy possessed by a particle is let kinetic energy possessed by a particle is E. So this we already know that P is nothing but root of 2m E where E is the kinetic energy possessed by a body and or any particle whose uh, wavelength you need to find out. So this is it. Okay here the particle is electron which is at a temperature of 200, uh, 300 Kelvin. So we already know that kinetic energy of a particle kinetic energy per unit particle uh, per uh, per molecule is given by expression 3 by 2 kt okay so what is k over here k is nothing but Boltzmann constant where t is a temperature so that means this energy kinetic energy possessed by a uh, average kinetic energy possessed by each particle is given by 3 by 2 kt so you can easily write the uh, uh, write the value of E over here so finally you will get as this expression as 2m 3 by 2 kt 2 2 cancel out each other so eventually you will get this expression as 3m kt where mass of electron is already given to you Boltzmann constant is already given to you temperature of 300 Kelvin is also given to you Planck's constant is also given to you so eventually you can easily find out the expression for wavelength so you can solve it and eventually you'll get the value of lambda as 6.26 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter this expression that you must get so that means this is nothing but 6.26 nanometer so that means our answer is first only you have to solve this expression and you will get the value of wavelength. I hope this question is clear to everyone. Thank you.